Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back for game week three of the Prem Review with Mr. Lankowski. Say Hello hi. there. How are we? I hope you are all well. Um, yeah, just get straight into it because last time it took way too long to get straight into yeah, it. I think it was pretty like, much. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, do you want to go through the? Uh, we'll go through last week's fixtures and the results and see what the scores are like, and then we'll go on to next week's fixtures with a, a little bit of a, a sprinkly thrown in from the championship. So. Yep. Uh, just quickly off the bat, if you see me looking sideways, I'm looking at my second monitor for all results and starts and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I noticed in my last video that I looked sideways quite a lot. I do apologise, but, I mean, Jeff Stelling can't always look at the start camera, can he? So, I mean, you know, bear with it. Uh, anyway, go on. Uh, do you want to just run through the results one by one? So we'll yep. go off. Forest, uh, Sheffield, we both put Forest. Pretty Forest convincing win. Forest win, although Sheffield just look a bit... They, they, they look like they're going to go down already, to be quite frank. Like, there's not really and you questioned there. me getting them finish, uh, them finishing bottom. You I questioned put them 19th. that. I put them 19th. Yeah, but they're not bottom. No. You question that. Um, yeah, Forrest looked good. That striker, I can't remember his name, but he's he's he's, he's, like, he's carrying on the hot form that he had last season. And oh, then... Chris Ward. <laughs> Sorry. He scored, though, this week. <laughs> I know, that's, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, I I want I, I want the yeah him. I want I want yeah he uh, what are yeah. your Chelsea product? Hmm? Isn't he a Chelsea product? Oh no, Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool. My bad, my there. bad. No, my he's, bad. he's not one of the millions. <laughs> he's not do. one of the thousands in attendance and the millions watching at home. Uh, uh, so yeah, one all on there because we well we finished two one, but we both get a point, so one one. Yep. And then Liverpool, Bournemouth. We both got Liverpool. Uh, oh, you missed... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down. You missed one out. I just got them in the order that we did them in. You haven't, because you missed Fulham Brentford out. Oh, I've got that one next. Oh, well, it's all going fucking, Pete. So I'm going, well, you can lead the way. You'll lead the way. We'll go, we'll go Liverpool, Bournemouth. Yep. Uh, we both put Liverpool. Pretty yeah. convincing. Very convincing. Very convincing. The only thing I want to add on to that is it wasn't a red card. Never never in a million years was it a red card. I do not like Liverpool, but it wasn't a red card for McCarthy. Uh, I've I've not seen all of it. Uh, again, I haven't watched any football over the weekend because I haven't had a chance. But uh, Flash Girl says roofing. Nah, he, uh, <laughs> he, he basically just went into a 50-50 and caught the studs on the top of his boot and he sent him off for it. Oh, like what studs showing sort of thing. Yeah, but it was on his foot, and it was like it was a fifty-fifty. Like, if you can't go for that, then what can you go for? Football's too soft. Football it is it, literally it too have, soft. Right, it should have been a yellow card. <coughs> that was it. But yeah, um, I thought Bournemouth were gonna go and push on. They were shocking. They just have nothing. To, there's just nothing about them, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, just one quick adage on that. Um, Max Aaron's and Tyler Adams. We shall see you next year. You set of scum pricks. Why has he gone to Bournemouth? I don't know why he's gone to Bournemouth. Why does Willy Nonto want to leave us to go to Everton? He Everton. rejected Everton, hasn't he? No, we rejected Everton, and now he's come crawling back like, excuse mm. me, can I play for your club again? Because nobody mm. else wants me, and Everton are too fucking poor to afford me. <laughs> Fuck off, Willy, you little dirty skit. We'll get on to Leeds right. a bit later on. They are, they are, they are poor right yeah. now. Evan. Poor, poor. <laughs> uh, Fulham Brentford next. Fulham Brentford, uh, resounding win. A bit of a, uh, would you say a shock? Uh, mm, not, re not really. We both put Brentford to win. Yeah, put, both put Brentford to win, but uh, a three 0 drubbing. Uh, I know we got a man sent off, but I, yeah, I didn't expect that. You know to what? be honest. They don't. They, I thought they were going to struggle without Tony. They they have not missed a step since he's yeah. been gone. Uh, unlike uh, Fulham, who are yeah, uh, they are Which missing. They're missing uh, Mitrovic. Thingy, Mitrovic. But Jimenez is not a bad striker. He's not he a bad striker, but I still wonder if that whole injury plays on his mind because he's not. The, he's not the same player, is he? He's not the same. But and it's yeah. uh, it's it's not nice to say or to see because. He was a cracking player, but it's he's part and parcel of it, yeah. Mm. Part and parcel of it. I think Fulham is going to have a middling season. I don't think they go down, but they're not mm. going to. They ain't going to pull up any trees. Yeah, like middle bottom table sort mm. of stuff. Yeah. Do you want to go for the next game? Because I don't know what order you've got in the minute. Uh, I've got Wolves Brighton next game. Um, I questioned whether to go for Brighton. 
uh, obviously after <laughs> week one. And then I thought, oh, yeah, we'll stick with Brighton. <laughs> and uh, resounding success. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, yeah. I guess is the only way to describe it. They have scintillating form. They've yeah. read out of the blocks. Like, yeah. no, se- no like, poor season hangover. They've lost <laughs> all the players for the second summer in a row. Yeah. Oh, none of that. They've, oh. uh, they arguably look even better. Yeah, um, a lot of the goals come in quick, quick fire. Well, I didn't we? 46, 51, 55. That's, that is a way to shut a team up, guys. That is a... Uh, yeah. Put it this way, you don't want to play Brighton right now. They've still got Adam Lallana on their team. That is They've got stupid. Milner. He's literally just... Yeah, Milner's okay, like, but Adam Lallana? No, but they're doing like a reverse <laughs> Southampton. They go from Southampton to Liverpool, and then they go to Brighton. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Brighton. Brighton looking good. Wolves, I mean, the way their season started was just uh, chaotic at best. So mm. I, I, it's not out of place to see them struggling so far. Maybe uh, we can get it together and sort of pull around um, Gary O'Neill. Again, I rate him as a manager, but that is yet to be seen. Uh, like I said, chaotic start to the season, so... <laughs> For me, it's not. I was going to say, I think they look better in the Man United game than this game, though. This game, they looked out of their depth. Yeah, but see, it's like we're comparing Brighton to Scum, and I mean, we all know which is better team. So, so far, we've got them all right. It's, it's going yeah, good. yeah. Um, uh, I felt good ticking these off one by one, because uh, I, I didn't really remember what Lou had picked. Uh, I don't really normally know what Lou's picked until like a Tuesday or the fr- Monday night. Uh, I don't tend to keep up to. Scratch it. I like to keep it as a surprise, but yeah, I felt pretty good at this point. Yeah, and then we move into uh, the Super Sundays, and yep. this is where it starts to go a bit downhill. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spurs, Man United. I said Spurs would win, and you questioned it. I did. Who's questioning in it now. <laughs> questioning, in it? questioning. Questioning in it. In it. Um, questioning in it, in it. Yeah. I knew it was going to happen. Like they do. All the Man United fans as well saying that they deserved it and they should have had a penalty. Where was this attitude when Wolves should have had a penalty? <laughs> yeah. You do deserve it. You got absolutely did by Spurs in the second half. Like Basuma was that's the best game he's played in the Spurs shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought, and that saw him in field. I don't know where he's come from, but he was electric. Like them two boss that midfield. Although it's not really saying much when you see Man United's midfield, but. I've still got Leo, Lionel McTominay. He didn't even get on the pitch, did he? It was Mount, yeah. Casemiro and Bruno. Mount's out for a while, isn't he? He's Mount injured or something like that now. Yeah, he's out till the end of the Yeah. Um, scum do scum things, to be honest. Spurs, to an extent, are looking a bit rejuvenated now that uh, Mr. Uh, Zero Ambition has left. Um, Son... Hasn't stepped up as of yet, uh, but he, he is the talisman of that team now. Uh, and then, look worse. and then when you look, you've got sort of that front, front four minus Richardson because he's fucking massively overrated. Uh, you got Son, Madison, and uh, Kula, Kula, Kula I always get it wrong. Is it Kula Shevsky? I always Kula. get it wrong. Uh, Madison's but, been a two of those, hasn't he? He really has. Yeah, I've. I, that's, that's good midfield. Good midfield. I'm all. I'm all for him. I'm all for him. Now that um, uh, Mister uh, Mister No Ambition's gone, we're even. I, we're even getting rid of all the aren't I never realised this. I didn't even start him. Yeah, the, I was going to say. Well, he went. Well, he's not gone, but he was basically gone at the start of the season anyway. He yeah, just, there were uh, Napoli were after him, and then uh, Sari didn't have an interview with him and or a meeting with him, and then. Yeah, that turns out rather quickly. Um, well, we're on no. the well, we're on the subject of uh, Manchester United. Um, the awkward conversation. It is not had. awkward at all. Um, it is a little bit. It's just if a, if 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 he <laughs> ends up at an English club, I can see a David Goodwilly situation going on. I really think he led to the Middle East, where said things are less frowned upon. Frowned upon. <laughs> How do we talk about this without right? getting cancelled? This is what I mean. It's a <laughs> um, just in case anyone wants to know, he's not from Leeds, he's from Bradford. That's a whole kettle of different fish. 
it's generally acceptable in that part of world. Swiftly I, moving on. I was just going to say, I think it goes into the whole argument of he's been found not guilty, but it's like... Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. The court of a pit, but... But that's just in the eyes of the law. But in in the public, no, he hasn't been found not guilty. He didn't get trial. Charge, all right, the charges were dropped. It's weird that, isn't it? it? It went so far for so long. I mean, it's like someone like produced many things, and then someone went, "Ooh, look at these many things! I shall drop all the charges." I just think it's you, you're getting into, you, it's a very ethical question of morality, and you get into. The argument of where do you draw the line on second mm -hmm. chances? Because yeah. then you get because there's always the other side of the coin where you get a Ted <laughs> Evans situation. Yep, absolutely. You've ruined, you've ruined his life over like nothing. Consent. Well, it wasn't nothing, but you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Like, but obviously, it's. I think it's definitely different circumstances was Greenwood because of what was released. You yep, won't yep. ever know the full story, and perhaps there is more to the story that better explains it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that could be to explain it because, from my point of view, it's pretty cut and dry. Yeah, but you never uh, know. That bit, um, that bit on uh, Wolf of Wall Street, where he's literally flinging phone coupons, and his girlfriend was picking up all his phone coupons, and now wife and maybe mother of child. It's very strange, but. I mean, when you've had Ronaldo at your club and you've also had Ryan Giggs at your club, it's almost like there's a pattern emerging in said club. Now we'll swiftly move on. Uh, the next game that I've got was the tantalising uh, City vs Newcastle. It wasn't that tantalising, to be honest. Uh, uh, I found it a bit of a letdown. I, I didn't think it was going to... I was hoping it was going to be the... Uh, not David you can like it in a Goliath way I was hoping it was going to be like Rocky Free, like the champion and the up and comer and then you know like the big fight and Adrian and I put it full and stuff like that but yeah it, it just didn't it was just Man City doing Man City things Newcastle oh. in all fairness did well to hold them to 1-0 I mean yeah, but when you've got People like Anthony Gordon and Harvey Barnes playing for your club, there's it's only so much you can do. But the rest of the Newcastle team, I really do enjoy. I just think they played scared. You know, I just... Yeah. Um, hmm, I just... I wish they would have taken it to Man City. Yeah, just gone balls to wall. Game. It kind of seemed like they kind of just accepted it. I know that goal from Alvarez was like out of this world, but it, mm -hmm. it was like that went in and it just Newcastle just... <laughs> I wouldn't say they played for the the one nil, but they didn't go for it. They didn't they didn't go punch for punch, which I know that's not really their style. But like this was their opportunity, uh, you know, put, put their down. put their seat, yeah, put a marker down and get the seat at the table. That we're here and we're here to stay. Yeah. And I don't think they've really taken that many. Like they, they've not they've not done that yet. No, not think... not yet. We've got plenty of time. This is what the second season of this. Regime, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's put it that way. With the uh, definitely a one hundred percent human woman in charge, definitely not a robot in disguise. Um, yeah, lizard lazy, L lizard lazy, lizard lady. But <clears throat> yeah, I, I am disappointed that we want more made of the game. Uh, we're Man City. If you lose anything less than three 0 that's sort of victory. So, like Lou said, we should. Uh, I'd have enjoyed it more if it had just gone balls to wall and it had been a battle of the behemoths, battle of the trillionaires or whatever. But again, a 1-0 loss to a, a City team that is stupidly... All-conquering. Yes. All-conquering. All-conquering and stupidly fucking uh, overpowered. They're just relentless. Is the yeah, word relentless is a great way to put it. I mean, they, they lose De Bruyne, one of the best, <clears throat> arguably the best midfielder in the world. Mm -hmm. And you bring on Phil Ford, and, and you're like, how does he not get into this team? Just, <laughs> yeah. like, he, like, for my money, he is the best English player right now in terms of just pure ability. Yeah, I think he's potentially one of the best English players we've had since. I just don't understand why he doesn't get a game consistent. Gaza, maybe. Yeah, it's uh, it, a puzzling one. It is a puzzling one. Maybe it's one of those you don't want to 
push him too soon. He wants to. I know, move. but I've been hearing this for years. Like when yeah, I was yeah, in, yeah. in Manchester, like people were saying that back then. He's twenty, what four now? Twenty three. Yeah, like he's he's not a young kid anymore. He's no, like, no. He's a full established like <laughs> Premier League player. He he should be playing week in week out, or yeah. at least on the precipice of that. I would say if yeah. he's if he's moving, if he's getting a transfer somewhere, it's easily over one hundred and fifty million. For me, and anyway. like goals than like Real Madrid or Barcelona, though. Yeah, well, it'll be Real Madrid, Barcelona can't afford a fucking fish and chips at a minute, but hey ho. Um, no, yes, uh, well, uh, me and Lou both had that as a, a win v City Newcastle game. So, well, so far, I'm all green. I've I've got all of them. Lengths had one hiccup. Yeah, uh, Spurs scum were my uh, hiccup. I put a draw. So uh, Lou currently is one nil up, uh, and then we come across the next fixture, which I have down as. Villa Everton, boy, I enjoy watching this. I love Sean Dyche, but hell yeah. We did say though, we said Villa, <coughs> you could see them retaliating. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Absolutely. Unfortunately, Everton were in the firing line, but yep. they didn't do themselves any justice. They got absolutely no. battered. It yeah. wasn't a contest. It was man. It was men versus boys. It really was. Yeah, I, I've just seen Coutinho. I keep forgetting Coutinho's. I keep forgetting we got with Tealmans. Thielmans is a great player. Also, also yes, England's yeah, England's next greatest striker. Yay, he can manage 12 minutes per season and then models for the other fucking I thought you were Ollie Watkins. I was like, you played no. all right. Um, like, uh, Mr. Mr. Calvert-Lewin. Yeah, Calvert-Lewin, who's got oh, 5.8. Did, <laughs> did you see the injury? He got, no. Got kicked in the face. Oh, oh no. Don't damage your moneymaker. He's a model for now, fuck's sake. <laughs> Thirty eighth minute. Yeah, it swelled up like a golf like a, yeah, it was a, it was quite bad the injury to be fair. I got a broken jaw on I still fucking played but, on um, rest of football training. No, Everton Everton look at if they play like this they're gonna go down. I don't care. I, I know it was away from home, but <laughs> they can't they gotta do better than that. Yeah. Um Will it be I, I know it's a whole thing, but would it be a Sean Dyche team as well? You don't expect these sort of Lackluster performances, you expect them to give everything. So unless he's not been able to put his stamp on it, but he's been there for and he's got a lot of players from like his time in Burnley there as well. Yeah, like, yeah, like, he's got Tarkovsky and stuff he's like got, that. Um who's the winger that they bought? <laughs> oh, Ghana. Uh, no. Is it O'Neill? O'Neill. One they bought from Burnley. It doesn't matter anyway. He's got he's got enough players there, but I mean, he's got Ashley Young there, but <laughs> you uh, see his throwing as well. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They were getting beat 3 0, no, right? And what does he do? He tries to throw it from pretty much the halfway line back to like the goalkeeper or like the defender, and the striker just runs in a scoff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just throws into the middle of the pitch for them to run on. It was it was just a bad day at the office all around from Everton, and they need to, they need to do something quickly because they're going to go down if they don't. Oh, mate. Did Coutinho get injured? Um, he come on in the 64th minute and when went off in the 85th minute. I think, yeah, I think he did. I can't remember. I, I, that was one of the games where I had it on, but I had it on in the background. Yeah. All the way through. Yeah. Um. So, yes, uh, I had win. Uh, You had win? How much you win? Oh, so the last two, games of the, uh, last two games of the weekend, 42 over. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then uh, I'll let Lou take this one. Then we get on to uh, the West Ham versus the big spenders Chelsea. Um, yeah. Chelsea got their new their new fancy toys. Uh, Moises Caicedo and Lavia have <laughs> been announced at this point. They were coming into this game full of hype, having gotten a, a good performance and a good result versus Liverpool. And things were looking up. West Ham were very much uh, a middling team. They just lost their best player. Paqueta was on his way out until he wasn't because of betting charges yeah about we'll get on about in a, a, a little moment and um chelsea started good and then and then disaster struck mm. from a corner and they conceded and somehow a six foot six keeper didn't come for the ball but that's by the way and then just get back into the game they score a good goal and then they collapsed yeah uh, um yeah. Statistically, Chelsea absolutely battered. Oh yeah, I've uh, seen West people saying Chelsea were abysmal. They weren't. They just couldn't no. score. Yeah. Uh, the greatest midfield of the world has ever seen. Also, Mr. Penalty. Uh, 
<laughs> the next greatest midfielder came on and gave away a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it wasn't a great day for him. Um, no, it really wasn't. But I don't, I don't, right, I don't get, I've put Chelsea win on this, so this were my second point go down for him. I don't get how they are still throwing money at players. I understand it. I just don't understand how you can throw that much money at players and it still doesn't work. Because you can't build an entire new squad in the summer and then go, play, win. No, don't you work. Could I could understand if they were defensively frail, which they were at some points in this game. Like that, that second, Anto that Antonio goal that he scores from like, what, 25 yards out? That's just a miscommunication. I don't know what they're doing at the back. But they just don't score. They create ch half decent chances, but like they just can't seem to score. Like Jackson is a fan. He, he was running the defense ragged. He just mm. could not score. Yeah, if, only, miss, if only he'd have bought, uh, if you, if only he'd have bought enough like, I don't wings understand or the goals. One, He's not playing him, and I don't understand why. Yeah, I'd, I'd heard reports over off season that it bulked up and like it, yeah, he, he yeah. looked good in preseason. He scored a goal. He, he was looking good, and then he he, he didn't. <laughs> what he played him for? How many minutes in the first game? And same for the second. Like yeah, he got cameos. He got second half, didn't he? A bit luck of this. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, well, I know I picked him as my manager of the season, but that was because I thought we would be going a different way. In. But um, Potts do Potts. Things. To be fair, have you seen Chelsea's next six, seven fixtures? They play all like the typically bottom of the league team. Uh, next week. Right, so okay. they have to, they have to, they have to start getting pushed. Yeah. Results. Um, Their run up to Christmas is genuinely one of the worst. They play Arsenal, City, Liverpool, Brighton, Spurs, and Man United all in a row. Like no yeah. gaps. It's just yeah. yeah. But enough about them. Yeah. West Ham, you know, counter attack or whatever you want to call it. But they uh, got They're battered up, and they come back. Uh, the main talisman, uh, if you can call him that, is uh, is going to get banned. It's yeah. it's, it's going to come. Oddly enough, there's plenty of yellow card betting going on in Brazil, apparently. Um, mm -hmm. So he will join Ivan Tony in uh, the, uh, the yeah, MV. What can we call it? The Manolo rehab Manolo. for gamblers. Yeah. Uh, um, or insider traders. If it, if he were a politician, it'd be fucking no one would bat an eyelid, would they? I just, Anywho. Do you not see the irony of Lucas Paquetta scoring a penalty while wearing a shirt that says Betway when he shouldn't be playing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, he shouldn't have been on the pitch, though. He really shouldn't have. Yeah. That's, that's, that's football these days, though, so, isn't it? And uh, then we come to the uh, Monday night, yeah, the Monday night football. This which is the one was, that did it for me. This yeah. is the one. This uh, Palace Arsenal, and I did have an eye on this game <clears throat> uh, because I had an Arsenal win, so that's a, a point there for me. I had a draw, Ooh, and it should have been a draw. It really should have. Yeah. Uh, very little happened. Uh, a bit looks of this, but I mean, I got it right, so that's all that matters. Arsenal and a man sent off. Yeah. Um a lot of controversy around that. I don't want to say like like champions mentality, but that team mentality where you you're in a tough game and you Yeah, you, you you're in a tough game and you you grind that win out. You get those points no matter what. It might you might end up playing Sam Allardyce football, just root one in it or something like that. But you, as long as you find a way to win, who cares? Those points are on the board, and that's what really matters. To be honest, if it won't pay, if it won't pretty, uh, who gives a fuck? So I think that's what Arsenal did for me. I will say though, all the people saying it wasn't a red, it was a red card. This one was a red card. And... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, two ye two yellows in space of uh, ten minutes. He wasted, he wasted time. Yeah, mm -hmm. he didn't waste as much time as uh, Havertz, who had the ball before him. But it was a like a commun what's it accumulation of time. And yeah. the second one, he pulled him back. It was it was soft, but he stopped the counter attack. And you don't if you're on a yellow, you just don't make that tackle. You like 
Why are you pulling somebody back on the halfway line when you don't need to be? It's just mm -hmm. a stupid. Like, you can't have a go at the referee for that. That's the player. No, game. yeah, that's how. That's the that's the player's fault. He's not being disciplined. He's not realised that he's already got a yellow card and thinks, yeah, maybe I should let him go and hope that I can stay on the pitch and affect football later on. But I don't know. I've, I, don't, I've... I don't know if it was a penalty for <clears> Palace <throat> as well. I think as it was very skillful. I don't. I think it was very touch and go. It could have gone knees away, 50-50. They had chances, Palace. They were they mm -hmm. absolutely hit Arsenal, but they just didn't create anything. Like it was it was siege mentality for the last half an hour. But yeah. Arsenal, like you said, they they last season they would have lost that game or drew at the very least. Like yeah, yeah. They, they, they stood strong. Whether yeah. they can do it throughout the season, I'm not convinced. But yeah, yeah. Um, if you kind of barking in the background, it's very yeah, hot. Windows open. Fucking yappy little dogs. Honest to God. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. That's like I said, Arsenal ground it out, and that's they're not champions, but that is a champions mentality. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, so that is our rundown of the uh, last uh, last game weeks, uh, game week two's fixtures. Uh, out of the nine, I got seven, and uh, so did yeah. Lou, unfortunately. So it's a dead heat this week. Lou is still one 0 up in the. Uh, Overall are we, season, are we, are we rolling it over? Oh yeah, because we're on about this, so we're on about rolling points over. So I think we should do this because if later on in the season it could be a very interesting way to like gain a way back into it. So, yeah, so the winner from this week, if there is a winner, uh, double points then. Yeah, two points. So two points. Yeah, I'm down for that. Each, are we doubling it each time? <coughs> or just adding one on. Oh, we could double it I, each time. I think Adam. I think Adam won on it for now, and then we can change it as we go. Fucking chicken. Uh, <laughs> right, so yeah, you just, need, you just need one win, like one. Off <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> it's, it's like fucking nineteen weeks of rollovers. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, now we'll just uh, quickly run through. Uh, oh, actually, I'll go through a table. Uh, currently sitting top. Tree. Yeah, it's Brighton. I, I'm like, that's mad respect for that. I'm but on goal <laughs> difference, yeah, on goal difference, but mad respect. Um, company they keep it. not bad. Yeah, uh, Brighton uh, first, uh, City second, yeah, yeah. Arsenal, Arsenal, Brentford, and uh, Liverpool. Uh, you got Tottenham and West Ham occupying what should be the remaining uh, European spots at the minute. And down for bottom, we've got uh, Everton 20th, 19th Wolves, and 18th uh, Burnley. So, oh yeah, Burnley, Luton was a postponement, oh. wasn't it? So they didn't play. So, I mean, Luton and Sheffield United are part of the league, which is, hey, good on you. Can I uh, add, the fifth place now gets Champions League. So our, our prediction at the start just goes out the window. What do you mean? They've changed in the format next year for the Champions League. The top five now gets Champions League this season. Yeah, but we did. You would well. I just did Europe. Yeah, but I think it drops down one place to ninth <laughs> or eighth, and we only did seventh. Well, you did seventh. I did the whole table. Yeah. So I, I think no. you said though when we ran through it who you would have had there. So it's fine. Yeah, but yeah, because I just based mine on last season's uh, coefficient rankings of like you know European what, sports sure, right. about, yeah that were uh, awarded. Um, but uh, that is that. Uh, just let me get. So we'll have a look and uh, do our predictions. Are all these? These are all. These are postponed. Are I was just going to say, do you want to run through the championship now or next week? Uh, we'll, uh, do we... champ we'll do a championship after this. We'll keep it all. Uh, we'll keep it all Premier consistent. Uh, yes. So twenty uh, fifth. Is this Friday night? Yes. Friday night football. Eight o'clock is Chelsea Luton. <laughs> Ross Barkley returns. Um, <laughs> I love that. I've gone three-one Chelsea. I said that last week, and they got beat three-one. But they, they have to put a win on the board, yeah. surely. I surely. I really want to go. Derby, yeah, I really want to go week one uh, guess and go for a ballsy looting, but <laughs> you just can't, can you? Uh, I'm going Chelsea. Chelsea win. Uh, and then. Game after that, uh, we're going on to the Saturday games. Uh, early kickoff, 12.30, is Bournemouth Spurs. 
I've got a two nil, two Spurs. Uh, I'm going Spurs win. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, don't really overthink it. Home of are at home. They could come up good. Spurs haven't really got a threat up front. So, you know, it's stuff like that. But, yeah, Spurs win. Uh, and into three o'clock kickoffs on Saturday. And we've got first one on my list is uh, another London derby of Arsenal Fulham. Arsenal Fulham, I've gone 2-1 to the Arsenal. Uh, yeah, I'm going Arsenal win. Uh, and, uh, next three o'clock is Brentford Palace. That's another. What's this London week or summer? Fuck me! Can we spread it out up north, please? Uh, yeah, Brentford Palace. Bit of a tricky two nil, one. Two nil to Brentford. Yeah. Um. I think I might go draw. I'm gonna do a good draw. Brentford. Oh, no. Ooh. No, okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw. You know what? No, I'm going yeah, to go ball draw. Ball draw. I think it might be an exciting match, but just nil-nil. Uh, next up, fuck me. Battle of the... Uh, battle of the uh, letdowns. Uh, Everton Wolves. <laughs> I've gone for... Who have I gone for? I went for... I don't know why, what what like apparition came to me, but I've gone 2 nil Everton. <laughs> I, looking at it now and like going over it in my head... I feel like an Everton win as well. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go for. Just a quick justification is Everton are the home team and they actually seem to be up for it at home <laughs> and Wolves just can't score. I know yeah. Everton can't, but he's a come Wolf. Yeah. Um, for me, I don't really know what it is. I, I don't know. I've just got a feeling about Everton. It, that's, yeah. about, that's about it. Uh, and we've got last at three o'clock kickoff, which is Scum Forest. The Roy Keane derby. Um, yes. I have gone 1-0 Man United. Um, where are we? This one's a weird one because I yeah. don't rate Man United in terms of attack and I think their defence is shaky yeah. but solid and Forrest are like the opposite. But I don't yeah. know. One yeah. I'm, one going, I'm going scum win. I'm going scum win on that. <clears throat> And then we get into the uh, late kickoff, uh, half past five, which is Brighton West Ham. Tasty, tasty. It is, but I've gone three one Brighton. Really? Go on, my boy. That's ballsy. I'm, I'm keeping. I'm on. I'm all in on the Brighton train. I don't mm. like. Them, but... I'm thinking draw. I'm thinking score draw. Personally, uh, I, w I wanted to say West Ham, but I'm, I'm going to overrule that. I'm going to do a, what I don't normally do an overall, my first thoughts, and go with uh, West Ham. Uh, then we get into the... These are Sundays, aren't they? Sunday <laughs> the Sunday games. The easiest game to call. Uh, well, actually, not not here. Not on this list, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the Sunday game is... Oh, uh, two two o'clock kickoffs. Uh, first one is Burnley Villa. Burnley Villa. Um, I've gone 3-0 Villa. Yeah, I'm going Villa win. I've literally just written it down straight away. Uh, moving on swiftly. Um, Chef United City. I mean, Chef United are at home. <laughs> You're welcome to take them if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go come... balls, but I also like competitive side of me. It's just like, I need to win. I don't want to lose. I've gone 4-0 Man City. Uh, I think they're going to batter them. Yeah. Um, I'm going City win. I'm going City win. And then... Uh, Late afternoon kickoff of uh, Sunday is uh, Newcastle Liverpool, which is a, another spicy one. It is. Aye. I'm going to let you go first on this one. <laughs> this is a first. One. First four was Newcastle, and then it shifted to a score draw. Um, I don't like putting draws down, but that shouldn't really affect my decisions. I'm going to go Newcastle win. I've been tuning on Newcastle. <laughs> They're at home. Liverpool, I think Salah's on form, but the rest of them are not quite there still. Uh, yeah. I yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. It's not against Liverpool and stuff like that. Whenever I've seen, I saw them against Chelsea. And... Uh, 
Yeah, Vol- really good. I don't think they look good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just got a feeling for Newcastle. I'm, I'm, I might be one of those bandwagon people that's jumping on Newcastle, but it, that's just my feeling straight off of the uh, straight off of a bat. Uh, sorry, as I mark my prediction. Down, I, think, so I, don't don't think Newcastle, I don't think taking Newcastle at home nowadays though, is a like that much of like a shock. No, no. Mm. I mean. I did say this, um, and I went on to win 5-1. Attacking-wise, I still feel like there is something missing. Um, but prove me wrong. That's that's all I've got to say is prove me wrong. Uh, that is uh, that is our predictions, uh, or our review of uh, Game Week 2 and our predictions for Game Week 3. Uh, I am just going to have a quick touch on the... Ever so exciting live that is uh, a League United fans. And oh my God, everything and nothing is happening at our club. And it's a disgrace. And I'm so angry, I could ship. I, uh, it's it, I it's it's going to go down, you know, if you carry on. The I, said, I said we're going to be mid-table. Uh, currently sit 19th after three games, a draw, loss, draw, which is a great start. Uh, everyone's bumming Daniel Farker. I'll let him cook. I'll let him cook. I've got no against that. Um, <clears throat> the whole situations with release clauses, Rajasani's fucked us over, Orta's fucked us over. I think Kania is gra- like not gritting his teeth. Yeah, gritting his teeth because he has to be sacked at some point or released at some point because he was part of this trio that made us Premier League again. <coughs> And these clauses are horrific um, for Peterborough owner. If this were a real story, I love it. The Peterborough owner come out and says, if whoever put these transfer clauses in place should be lined up against a wall and shot and never <laughs> show their face in football again. And I love that because that's exactly what every Leeds fan's thinking right now. Um, Tyler Adams has gone, so that's one gone. That's good. We got some money for him. That's a decent uh, bit of money, uh, which I think we are should be reinvesting into uh what's his name from Swansea? Is it Pyro? Pyro or something like that? A striker, which is very much needed because Sir Patrick of Violin is just Yeah. Um as much as I love Joffy is more of a number ten role these days. Rutter is a winger for me. Dan James is so ice cold or fire hot. It's unbearable. Um but yeah, um, it's somewhat getting back balanced. Sinister has got the lawyers in on us, even though his contract release clause had expired. And <laughs> Nonto has come crawling back all of a sudden. For me, for me, you rule with an iron fist. Make this a point that no other player will ever cross our path again and do this sort of shit. They should be in under 12s or under 11s training with them. They should not be even anywhere near four parts they should be nowhere near it and if they want to play they should have to i don't even want to say earn the way back because they should never put the shirt on again ever if you're willing to pull this shit because you don't want to help the club that you have got a contract with out of the dark times fuck off somewhere else just go you're under contract you do as we say end of and I say, fuck off to the corner at training ground and think about what you've done and never come back. <laughs> Rant over. I needed to get out of here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, that, you, that young Swansea striker, Pyro, Piro, whatever his name is, looks uh, exciting. Pretty much what we need is scored for fun for uh, Swansea. So uh, that and Lewis O'Brien, um, which we were linked to when he were at Huddersfield. Um, and I was a bit annoyed we didn't get him, but it looks like we're going to get him at this point. Hopefully, touch wood, uh, signing should be coming in the next couple of weeks. So, Leeds United fans rejoice. The chaos is somewhat coming to an end, and we may have stability once again. And over to you, Mr. Lubicon. I'm just going to run through middle for the absolute shocking start that they've had. Went from... Uh, <coughs> arguably, they should have They should have went out last year. Based on um, after Carrick took over, they didn't. They were one of, if not the favourites, outside of the uh, the relegation teams to go up, and they've mm. had a disaster. To be honest, 
Mm -hmm. The start of the season has been absolutely shocking. But Tarek's still you know, there. Yeah, he is. Um, like, Akpom's obviously gone to Ajax now. I don't think he was going to hit the numbers he hit last year, and I didn't expect him to stay. But you can't score, what was it, 29 goals he scored? And yeah, stayed. not a trap to tension, yeah. It was never going to happen. But And 10 million's not great, plus add-ons, but... At least it's, it yeah, at least it's summer. For me, they were criminal <clears> for not going for Giles. I don't know why they did not go for him and why they let him go to Luton. He wanted to come back to the Borough on a permanent. Wolves were happy to sell him, but for some reason they just didn't even go for him. Never mind. They didn't like they didn't even put an if offer in. It's not like they lost the uh, like he he chose Luton over Middlesbrough. He just never even went. Mm -hmm. Um, Silvera looks like a decent start uh, signing. I think Rogers in that number ten role rather than up front has looked a lot better. I think that Latte Laffy they just brought in, he looked really good. He's still quite raw in the sense of the finishing. Hackney was just unplayable this game. That goalie score was fantastic. Don't know why Jones is still there. I I would have just got rid of him. Um, yeah, Neil Warnock back was a vengeance. He always. <laughs> Fuck I don't know how it's like a bad smell. Yeah, I, was, I was just thinking about. I was just about to say he's just like a bad smell. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Tommy uh, Smith's obviously crooked, and uh, yeah, all the mills were right back to it with crooks. So bringing in that Vander, the Vanderberg, he looked, he looked solid. Obviously, Huddersfield's goal was quite lucky. It was the uh, Dill Fry's kind of an own goal from a corner, a bit unfortunate, but they happen. I think Force definitely has to play him all. He would look good. Like I said, Silvera looked good. They look good this game. They just they're just lacking the goals and I don't know if it's the confidence or what they've had a slow start but they had a slow start last year I think it was 10 mm -hmm. games in they were one place outside the uh, yeah. relegation zone and they play West Brom I think is it next week this weekend so uh, that'll be a, yeah I've not the uh, I've not the fixed the list off I think that'll be a, I think it's West Brom they play yeah. uh, Leeds have got Ipswich uh, if uh, anyone is bothered it's how you yeah, finish in it, not how you start. Yeah, so. that's what I mean. It's just slow starters, but they can get there. It's, especially in the championship when you got that many games. Mm -hmm, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, man. took the words out of my mouth. I don't think there's any standout team like there was last year. Possibly Leicester or Southampton. But even they, I know Leicester have won all their games, but not convincingly. And Southampton no, no. have got the best squad in the league alongside Leicester, but they've just been misfiring. What about so, Leeds? <laughs> <laughs> Who's again? The thing is, the thing is, Southampton and Leicester are getting gutted, but they're getting good money. Yeah, you're getting gutted, and you ain't getting any money. No, like, ain't Tyler getting... Adams, Tyler Adams for twenty million is twenty-three plus add-ons. Thank you, sir. Uh, One million pound of add-ons, which I don't understand. For fuck's sake! I'm yeah, wearing an Olympiacos shirt, by the way. It's not a, it's not a Macam shirt. <laughs> shit. I hope they go down. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that is uh, that's that's the end of the video, then, ladies and gentlemen, or the podcast, or whatever it is. Uh, you don't really have to have. I should have said this at the start. You don't really have to have uh, watch it. You don't have to watch it. It is. Uh, we are toying with the idea of making it into a podcast version on YouTube, but we don't know how that works yet. So that is some of it could come. Uh, but that's a uh, yeah yeah. Um, that's a roundup of game week two and. Uh, Predictions, preview yeah, preview. preview for game week three. Uh, we didn't really run through transfers or stuff like that for game week three and what's going on at the minute, but try to keep these videos short. And we have currently been uh, recording for 44 minutes, like so hour, but, yeah. yeah, this is this is another this is another swifter. Uh, so, uh, yes, if you did enjoy, uh, please do consider liking and subscribing. Uh, Lou's link is in my description down below. Uh, hopefully, mine is in his description if he uh, if he remembers. Um, what I was else? Gonna say, watch out for the, another episode of Lou and Lang on a slightly different topic because Star Wars is back. <laughs> That's it. Yep. Uh, I have watched the first episode of Ahsoka. Uh, Lou hasn't yet. I don't really know much around it, but Ahsoka is one of, if not my favorite, uh, uh, Star Wars character. Uh, but that will be coming uh, in the very near future. So watch out for that. And uh, yes, I have got nothing else to add. Have you got anything to add, Miss Lubicon? See you next time. Yeah. Enjoy and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Peace. Peace.